The beef industry is uh, going through a process in which uh, they are developing new methods of fabricating uh, the beef carcass into retail cuts. Uh, to do this, they need to have an, uh, they need to have an understanding of the uh, muscular anatomy of a beef carcass and also the skeletal anatomy. There are over 105 different muscles uh, found in the beef carcass. Each of these muscles have different properties, whether it be uh, uh, chemical or physical properties that the retailer needs to take advantage of as they market uh, beef retail cuts. Recently there's been renewed interest to identify uh, muscles within particularly the uh, chuck area of the carcass which is the, uh, the front limb of the animal to identify if there are muscles that have uh, a particular value that we can uh, capture. One of these uh, subprimal cuts is the shoulder clot uh, which consists of uh, three different muscles. Uh, these muscles include uh, the infraspinatus, the teres major and also the triceps brachii. One of the muscles that we're very much interested in is infraspinatus. This muscle lies just below the scapula and has some uh, very interesting characteristics. Uh, it is a muscle that uh, is relatively tender and has a uh, good flavor. The infraspinatus, uh, sometimes referred to as the flat iron steak, uh, again has received uh, a lot of uh, publicity lately and actually is uh, outselling uh, some of the other traditional steaks such as the T-bone. Uh, it is very tender and uh, once the connective tissue is removed, uh, it makes a very good uh, uh, cut of meat that has been sold in many restaurants uh, throughout the United States. Uh, one of the characteristics, uh, not only is it tender, but it also is very juicy and flavorful. Uh, we're seeing uh, other muscles being uh, isolated from uh, such areas as the beef chuck or beef round and to be used in a very similar method.